is uh, Primorsko. You know, heading over to uh, uh, Sozopol. This is the Highway 99. That, according to Google Maps, is actually closed, but it was definitely not closed. And so this is kind of the main route connecting Rosenets uh, to uh, Burgas. So yeah, in Sozopol. In December. So this is really pretty. It's a historical town. Again, middle of December. So no tourists. Maybe go on the main drag. Oh, there's some bakery. Mm -hmm. So we paid. 260 for this long piece of bread and some kind of pastry that my mom got. So it's about like a dollar, a dollar thirty maybe. So yeah, this looks really good. So I'm going to this camera right here. It's like a puff pastry with cheese, cheese inside. So yeah, really, really good. Mm. I just could buy any stuff. Cheese. Yeah, this is a delicious. I've been eating these uh, you know, almost every day. Good snack. Look like that. It's a little cute restaurant. It's not open right now, but really cute. <laughs> Oh, he's a loud cat. Oh, that's beautiful. Riviera. Oh, this is pretty. Ty krásně. Ty časti. Takže Riviera. As I call this the Riviera. It's beautiful. That's a wine bar. Look up. Uh -huh. Fortress. Fortress, uh huh. Yeah, Bulgaria is really pretty. Like, I had really no idea how nice it was. Uh, yeah, my mom was saying that Sozopol and Nesebar are two very famous historical towns in Bulgaria. It's definitely true. Kitten, bye kitten. Wow. So many cats. Kitty. Look at you. You cute. Hi. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful day for a stroll. It's kind of cold, but not too bad. And the sun is beautiful. A little crisp air. But in the sun. Let's see all the cats.
is the street of Cyril and Methodius. Two are very famous monks they introduced uh, the alphabet in the, the Slavic lands. Oh, look at this view! Oh my goodness! Oh, gorgeous! Yeah, it's so peaceful here now in winter. You know, in the summer, it'll be probably full of tourists. Yeah, very cute. It's pizza. Hanka e Hamba? Halba? Hamba? Yeah, yeah. Hanka e Halba? Yeah. Halba. My cereal is not really the best. Yeah. It's kind of like Cartagena in Colombia. But on the uh, Black Sea. Oh, look at this. Del, del Muro. The wall. Del Muro. To je, to znamená stěna po španělsky. To je Muro. In Slovak, it's Mur, so kind of similar. And Muro in Spanish, and Mur in Slovak. I just bought a old drink and a uh, old granola bar for uh, about a dollar total, two loaves. So it's probably like dollar twenty maybe. So yeah, it's quite affordable out here. That's a nice view. Cute place. I think my mom will enjoy coming here. Oh, and some more ruins. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we just made a circle, so we parked close to here. I guess it's a Christmas market place, but I guess not open yet. But maybe later. It's kind of early maybe it's around noon so maybe they'll open or in the afternoon that's wrong that's good liver where are you from? where are you from? my mom got fish soup really good this is a chicken caesar salad Look at this cool castle. It's Castle Ravadino. Hmm. Just paid. Uh, I paid twenty leva, so it's about ten dollars to get in. My mom got a senior citizen discount, and so we're gonna go check out this castle. Pretty unique place. There's a little restaurant here, some bunch of different animals, animal heads. So 
So yeah, definitely uh, I think for like, having entertaining visitors, it's uh, actually a pretty cool place to, to, to go. We have some cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of unexpected place to find here. And I can probably take a boat and go for a kayak. Right, and there's even an aqua park in the back. Oh, I got some birds here. Oh! Some peacocks! Wow, oh, look at all these peacocks! Peacock, peacock! Peacocks! Peacock, peacock! Look at you guys! Oh, look, there's some kind of a llama, I guess, or whatever this is. Not a, it's a donkey. So, to the pavi, to like a llama, up to a donkey, or somar in, somar in Slovak, burro, burrito. Oh no, are you a burro? Are you a burrito? <laughs> hey, look at you! There's the stables. There's some other really curious structure. I guess it's supposed to be a cave. I guess. Yes, it looks kind of cavey. I'm not quite sure what this is. It's like a yaskinia, yeah, because. <laughs> yeah. No, so you can find everything here, it's all in one place. <laughs> oh, you got your swan. Swan paddle boats. Yeah, this is a uh, all-in-one destination. Whatever kind of tr attraction you want, you will find it here. It definitely seems like a super neat place to bring kids. And this is a, some giant mushroom-looking umbrella. Back to the castle here. So let's see if you can actually get inside, I would imagine. Because yeah, nobody checked our ticket yet. So I guess there's a way to get in. Look at this door. Oh my god. Wow, this is a cool door. It's okay. Huh. What an odd place. It's definitely somebody with a lot of money. We wanted to live in a castle and built this. Oh, there's some staircase. There's some. There's the two two. There's a construction. Ooh, it's a tower. Okay. I guess this is the way to the top. It's a tower. Well, I mean, it's open. I think we can go. Let's go up. Yeah, it's on the construction. Yeah. Old motorbike. No. Yeah. So we'll have to come back in the summer when the construction is over.
Here's a really nice garden. Some benches. Yeah, definitely a pretty nice place to come and read a book. And get a glass of wine and I imagine they sell it here and just relax. And I think we went the wrong way. We need to go back. Let's go up here by the waterfall. And it seems it's closed. Oh, now we can go in. Maybe the entryway. Maybe that's it. Or just the exit. Well, yeah, a castle. A really nice attraction. Really close to my mom's new retirement house. It's maybe 20 minutes by car. Maybe even less. So, uh,. Yeah, kind of nice to know about all these options out here. I'm really curious what this is going to look like in the summer. I would imagine it's probably in the tour buses. So on the way out, we talked to the lady at the cash register and she confirmed that yes, this is the guy who is building a castle. Apparently, you know, obviously, probably not a life-size recreation, but that's his face on top of the statue. And I am now really curious to find out more about this person because um, apparently uh, somebody with probably too much money and a dream of having a castle. So really, really interesting. I guess kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the Harz Castle by us in uh, California. Kind of a similar story probably. So this is not exactly the best road. But little by little, but a lot of potholes find that the roads in Bulgaria are either really good or they're like really really bad like with a lot of like look at these, look at these dimples oh my goodness what is this it's like a jeep, jeep road what are you doing oops uh oh was this okay oh, maybe that wasn't good the connection onto the freeway definitely interesting yeah that road probably needs a little improvement and here we are back on the road the main main road and now of course we're on the main road and this one is you know perfectly fine but yeah that little side road definitely needs some repairs 